<laughs> Not happening. I don't think so. Let me go. I want my pink drink. Give it to me. No. Give it. <laughs> we worked it out. <laughs> You ever have a dream that kind of just makes you question your relationship? Well, I had a dream and it made my girlfriend question our relationship. I, I, uh, I peered into the fourth dimension. What, I didn't tell you? Uh, yeah, I may have snuck a peek into the unknown. Well, <laughs> okay. When it comes to fight or flight, for me, it's always gonna be fight, okay? A, a very flighty style fight, but there is an aspect of fight in there. I. Uh, left my girlfriend to die. I left my three-dimensional girlfriend to fend off a four-dimensional being. I don't think that's my fault. That's very one-dimensional of me. But very four-dimensional of me to recognize my mistakes. I was dead asleep, laying next to my girlfriend who is soon to be dead awake. I rolled over and made eye contact with a one-eyed ceiling monster. I don't know what you think that is, but it's not that. For those of you who don't know, I'm gonna explain to you how the fourth dimension works. I'll try to make this simple. The monster broke through time and space, sheetrock, and whatever else ceilings are made of, and peered through the looking glass of time at me, running away. <laughs> I jumped out of bed, I said a couple things <laughs> towards the ceiling, and I somehow ended up behind a pillow shield that I had crafted myself amidst the skerfuffle, leaving my girlfriend uh, vulnerable. Now, I don't know what woke her up. It could have been the <laughs> massive amount of cursing that I didn't know I had in me, or, it could have been, I kind of used her as like a base to jump off of. What I saw was a threat. Uh, what she saw was me running away with my own pillow shield. See, now the way you're reacting, it makes me feel like you don't understand what I saw. It was looking at me through the ceiling. I have questions, okay? And so does my girlfriend, but I'll answer those later. <laughs> She's freaking out because she don't know what's happening. And I don't really want to tell her that I ditched her because I, I plan on sleeping a little more. I ended up falling back asleep. She may still have been talking, I don't remember. Then, when I fell back asleep, I had a dream that the one-eyed ceiling monster was me, okay? And I was looking at me, myself, on the bed, which, don't do that, is creepy. Which leads me to believe that of all the parallel universes, this is the best branded version there is, and everybody just wants to have a peek at it, which, low bar, me. I'm a creep. Okay, me been creeping on eye at night. How many times have us been looking at you? You're telling me, dream state me, could have done any, we could have been on the wheel of fortune. I'd like to buy an O? <laughs> Instead, I wanted to spend my dream time watching myself. And then when we woke up, well, I did, I don't, she probably was talking still. She starts asking me all these questions that I don't have answers to. Babe, I would have loved to beat up on some fourth dimensional me, but the way that I'm built, in this dimension, and the way that our ceilings are 10 feet, I wouldn't have been able to get a good punch in if I had a six foot ladder, let alone the time to set it up, he would have seen it coming way telegraphed. And I didn't run away, I built a fort for us. You were just slow to get there. So with that being said, I will do anything for my girlfriend within reason and within the dimensions we live in. I guess I say all that to ask this, how does one go about sleeping on a couch without the leather ripping your skin like a band-aid.